Hello guys welcome to my humble YouTube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. The Saint of War, Tensura XDXD, by Kischer Chapter, 13. The seventh layer of heaven, the absolute strongest and most heavily defended area of the heaven faction itself, with it being the home of the god of the Bible and the station in which his most prized creations lay doormat. The holy system, a system that regulates holy energy and miracles, it is done so by acquiring the prayers of humanity to the churches all across the world itself, does that pray to Yahweh, God, all of their prayers shall come to this system and be used to fuel its holy energy and performed miracles. In truth, it was this very system that made the angels of heaven to be so weak to begin with and strongly limit their capabilities so much, if such a system wasn't in place and was actually distributed to the angels of heaven, the amount of power that they would acquire would be so much that the four archangels of heaven would straightaway acquire power that would equal or even surpass those of the Trimufri of the Hindu pantheon. And elevate the power of the rest of the angels to highs that even the satans of old would feel like children in their presences of power. It was a fact that just very much confused Seal to no end when he first learned of this great system, he continuously asked himself, why create such a system? Or, why doesn't heaven just remove said system so that they would have strength like no other? Such questions continuously went to his head. But it all came to a stop when he first entered and met Shiva the destroyer of Hindu mythology, and from there, he finally understood why the system stood for, and why heaven itself have so much weight in the supernatural world even more so than both fallen angel and devil faction, despite the power of the devil faction, with them having two super devil class entities. It was that, the great holy system of heaven was there to protect humanity and the world itself from outside and inner threats itself. It was truly a system that was designed to create miracles and protect the world, it was the reason why no one of the oldest and most powerful entities would ever attack heaven, for the creation of such a system truly ended up benefiting them in the first place. Since after all, the gods themselves acquire their ability from the faith of humanity itself to them, and so they would do anything to protect them and still make them worship them as best as they can, and so, such things like world-ending events is always taken seriously by the supernaturals to the point that they would forego their pride and helped and protect humanity itself. But what the holy system does is to protect humanity by using the faith of humanity itself, it is protecting them from anything that might harm humanity be it from natural occurring events or from other third parties itself. The system shall activate and use the faith of humanity to protect earth, be it by weakening worldwide events into just country, small area incidents, weakening certain individuals that tries to destroy the world or even just empowering certain individuals and manipulate events to create heroes that would save the day, world itself. It was why there isn't a missing continent in the world itself, or why humanity itself is still progressing even more, it was simply because the system itself was working as intended and working to defend the world from harm. But since the function of the system itself has been lost to time, or simply ignored itself because of pride or the desire to take down the heaven faction, many factions, pantheons has come to desire to take down the great and powerful heaven faction itself. A thing that caused Seal endless anger and hatred from, with that, he then turned towards Raphael, who has come to aid him in his quest to revive their father of heaven. Seal, it seems that Gab isn't available at the moment, Sue, it would be just us for now, Raphael said in a sing-song manner, quite happy at having some alone time with Seal, of course, she is still worried in where Gabriel actually went, but she wouldn't bother her, since after all, she is the second strongest in heaven, behind just Michael, of course excluding Seal from the list, with her power not being behind from a super angel class entity. So people that could actually harm her is very limited, Especially most of the more powerful ones are all training to get ready from the war that is nearing its beginnings, so she herself is relatively safe from harm, of course, if she herself wouldn't be going to some enemy pantheon territory that is. Seal hearing that only nodded, it's fine, she left in a hurry, so she must have some important business to do, so we can just continue our work without her, he reasoned, thinking that his own mother was doing something important. Meanwhile in Asgard everything was destroyed or broken to smithereens, with every last one of the citizens of the glorious city of gold, was now just running away from the ensuing battle that was taking place in the city. And normally, many powerful beings that exist within Asgard would have taken out the threat as quickly as possible, and they would have normally did, 
but they simply stopped realizing who it was and who the attacker wanted to kill. You goddamn imbecile! For destroying my babies INNOCENCESI will kill you! Gabriel screamed out at the being that caused her son to lost his innocences far too early. Goddamn it woman! He would lost it anyway. I might as well speed it up. Honey help me! Siegfried tried to reason with the Madden Archangel, which just caused her to become even more angry. Brunhilde, who was near the battle site, only sat down and looked upon the battle that was happening before her sights, and hearing her dear husband's plead for support, she merely shouted back, This is your fault, fixed it yourself and endure the wrath of an overprotective and doting mother. But before Siegfried could reply back, a sudden pillar of light shot up from Gabriel's body, with it being a pillar of pure golden light, with it being made from pure holy energy and faith from the countless millions of humans that prayed to her and to her father. And before long, said light then came back down and then enveloped her very formed itself, shielding her from the evils of the world itself, and enveloping her like that of a cocoon that a larva's metamorphosis stages, and unlike that of a larva's cocoon, it then broke down in rapid fashion, sending flying the shells of light that enveloped her form. When Gabriel came to, it caused everyone to freeze in their place upon seeing the girl before them, she has changed from her earlier version a couple of seconds ago, she was now immensely more powerful both in terms of magical and physical capabilities. What has happened to her, hasn't happened to an angel since ancient times, a sign that caused even the chief gods of mythology to cry in terror at what was happening before their sights, and something that Siegfried certainly did. You got to be kidding me, he cried out in terror at the monster that he was now facing before him. The archangel known as Gabriel has skipped all necessary steps to awaken and evolved, it was a phenomenon that caused even the all-knowing father of Norse mythology to widen in shock at such an event happening before his own sights. Gabriel, the strongest woman in heaven, a title that she has held since ancient times, has now truly have reached the potential that both Michael and Lucifer has saw in her, a potential that would allow her to reach their level of power given enough time and reason. And for the longest time, she never really held reason for acquiring power, she was always been powerful, even when she was just born, she was born with extraordinary talent that surpassed most angels sans both Lucifer and Michael. It's because of that, she was perfectly content in everything. Even without the desire to acquire power and be more powerful like the rest of her siblings, she was naturally getting stronger at a much faster rate than even Uriel and the rest of the Archangels. Sans Michael. It was something that caused her to not even try to pursue power, since by that point in time, she was already so strong to begin with, to the point that even her own self proclaimed rival, Seraphal Leviathan always falls short before her whenever she tried to go against her in battle. But now? But now she has something to protect, she now has a reason to acquire as much power as possible, and it was to protect her son from the evils and dangers of this world has to offer, and she would acquire the power as much as possible. And from acquiring that determination and solidifying it by fighting Siegfried in Asgard and potentially even souring relations with the great Norse pantheon, her core, her soul itself has strengthened and created itself a proper identity unlike before, just her being an archangel of heaven, but now being the mother of Seal Tempest. It was this very reason itself, that she has now evolved and now has become a cherub class angel, a being that far surpassed the super angel class and has now reached the level of powers of the upper tier of chief god class. Gabriel, who realized her own evolution and then just clenched her fist and delivered a few punches and kicks, and that was the only requirement for her, for her to realize just how much more powerful she has gotten, and with that she has now fully accumulated to her current strength and could now fully maximize her power to the best of its abilities. She is much like her own baby, she too is extremely talented in the ways of combat and magic after all. Your punishment shall be public humiliation for destroying my baby's innocence, with that Gabriel rushed to her opponent, who only cried loudly. Lord Odin. Thor. Please help Mee, and so, he acquired the most humiliating thing that has ever happened to him since his inception in this world. Back in the seventh heaven with both Seal and Raphael continuing their work in the holy system that Yahweh created, both of them could only marvel at the creation process of the system itself. It is all purely both magical and scientifical, with it being both advanced enough to affect the metaphysical of the world itself. Seal concluded, continuing to admire the great system that he was now analyzing the parts of, he could even say that it is very complicated to the point that without his grace, he wouldn't be able to comprehend what he is seeing and much more wouldn't be able to understand it all. Raphael, 
who was far more older and much more experienced with the technologies of her father, could only understand what he was saying, since after all, even after hundreds of years of studying in the Library of Heaven, she still couldn't understand even half of her father's inventions and intelligence. True. But, inspecting the holy system with you has also seemed to have enhanced my own understanding as well, Raphael couldn't help but said, appreciating the company of her dear nephew, Crush. To this, he only nodded, also feeling the same way, concluding their own small talk and continued to work on in their comfortable silence for some time, before stopping for break that they needed. So Seal. Is it possible? Is it possible to revive father? She asked, wanting to acquire his viewpoint after analyzing the system for six hours now, which has allowed them to analyze about half of the inner workings of the system itself. Seal hearing the question could only slowly nod, yeah, it's possible, but it would take some time before we could reach that conclusion. But considering our progressed, we should be able to revive the Lord in a few days' time, he concluded while looking towards the great system of old. It was truly a fascinating invitation to end all inventions, it was something that Seal continued to ask himself about the system the more and more he understood the inner workings of the system itself. It was truly a magnificent machine that he didn't even begin to imagine the pains on actually making it, or how it could be made, he was sure that. Even he wouldn't be able to maw. U-I-L-L. B-B-L-O-M-A-K-E-I-T-E-V-E-F-A -e 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 grave S-R-A-N-D-M-R-E diaresis D-V-A tilde N-E diaresis D-M-S-T-R. Gasp. Seal. What's wrong? Raphael who saw Seal gasp suddenly reflexively reacted and then grabbed his shoulders and turned him around towards her, causing her to grasp herself upon seeing him. The current form of Seal was like that of normal, but right now, something was changing with him, he was radiating power, not some normal power, but power of both divine and of holy nature. It was a sight that surprised her, and right now, she could only think of a few things of why he was currently having it. Could it be that he has acquired divinity somehow in his journey? She thought, since after all, he did travel to both Asgard and in India, and with his talent and power, he would naturally acquire the curious glance of a divine being somewhere in his divine places. It wouldn't even be a surprise if he actually absorbed the power of the divine by pure accident alone to speed up the process of his own evolution towards the saint stage, she thought as well, since after all, she knows his own talents and obsession on making his body perfect for anything related to combat. And with his grace fully helping him in that, she knows that he has been rearranging his own biological chemicals to achieve it somehow, with him too also enhancing his strength as much as possible to achieve it. It was a process that Raphael knew all too well, since after all, she has been doing it since her acquisition of her own grace, doing the same thing to catch up to her older sister and to surpass her, but despite her efforts, she couldn't achieve it, with her being far too untalented to surpass Gabriel. But before she could think of anything else however, the holy system that they were analyzing started to glow and glow, before finally creating a huge pillar of golden and rainbow light, a pillar that showed itself even in the face of the other layers of heaven. Wa wow, what's happening? Raphael couldn't help but thought, looking at the pillar of golden light, and before long, her question was answered, with some of its radiance going towards seal. Seeing this, she could now understand what was happening, this event. This is the same when Jesus was formed. She realized what was happening. Down in the New Testament, Jesus was said to be both the Son and an aspect of the triune God of the Christian mythology, which was something that all mythological worlds accepted as well, even as of other factions since after all, the creation of another aspect of oneself is complex, but still well known, and with God's immense power and control over his own power, it is extremely likely that he would done so in the creation of Jesus Christ. But that wasn't truly the case, it is a well-guarded secret among the angels that existed in that time, that Jesus' creation wasn't so simple as that, God wanted to have a truly human aspect of himself to be his avatar on earth, since he couldn't actively go down. And so, he decided to wait and monitor the humans of earth and to see if there was anyone that could be his avatar on his place, but when he first found his avatar, said avatar died before he could even have a conversation with the boy. But luckily for him, he was a Christian and a follower of his teachings, and with him going towards heaven, he was given an offer, be reborn and be an avatar of God or be an angel instead, it was an offer that caused the boy to accept, wanting to spread the teachings of the Lord itself down to the mortal plane. And so, 
the archangels and some of the high-ranking angels, and God himself decided to teach him for a year the skills necessary to be his avatar, and a month before his rebirth, he was blessed by the holy system itself and was granted an aspect of the Lord's power, making him the official aspect of the Lord itself, and with that, he was rebirthed to the world, and much like the saying goes, the rest is history. Could it be that the holy system is making seal as the new Jesus Christ? She couldn't help but thought to herself, since after all, it does make sense on why this was happening, and even the events line up as well. The archangels of heaven and some of the high-ranking angels came to teach the boy, and with him learning a lot of things in the heaven's library, God with him then going to other places, worlds before returning to heaven itself. If one were to tightly close their eyes, one could easily see the parallels between the two, and even then, it's not very convincing fact as well, but still, one could still easily mistake it for them creating another Jesus Christ to be their representative down on earth. Could it be that the system misunderstood our intentions? She couldn't help but thought, since after all, creating and making seal into their representative on earth wasn't their goal to begin with, especially with how overprotective Gabriel is, she would protest and would even destroy heaven itself if they were to put such a role to seal to begin with. But now that this was happening, Raphael couldn't help but fear for the worse when Gabriel eventually returned from her trip and noticed the change in seal as the new Jesus Christ. Seal who was feeling the boost in power, divinity and purity of his holy energy, couldn't marvel at it, but instead marvel at what he was acquiring, this is. Dot. Could it be that the system is helping me? He couldn't help but thought, since power isn't the only thing he was acquiring, but knowledge as well, not just some random knowledge, but knowledge about everything that is related towards the system itself, on how old it is, all of its functions, how it was made and used, and how it is related towards the world and heaven itself. It showed him everything that he needed to know about the system, and with that, he couldn't help but smile, since his thoughts about the system and the triune God was now just confirmed and much like he hoped for, he was right. Good. It seems the revival of God is closer than I thought. He thought, before looking at the pillar of light that was now slowly dissipating, and when it was gone, he then stood back up. Raphael, let's continue our endeavor. The system has granted me a revelation of sorts, I should be able to revive God in just a few hours now. He spoke with confidence that Raphael was already used to, but somehow this level of confidence was something that she herself was surprised by as well. Much like that of Jesus as well. He completely understood how the system works. She thought, seeing the effects of the blessing that the system granted him by, and now seeing the probabilities of it being needed as well right this instant, but it's not like it's a bad thing, especially with the utmost need for positions to be made in the church. She thought, with Alexander Anderson coming to the church and creating a faction that follows the will of Seal Tempest, and with the numerous other things that has happened thanks to the boy himself, the upper echelon of heaven was able to acquire some breathing room and noticed what is happening in the church. And from there, they noticed the corruption that is going on in the church itself, and amount of things that some of the higher-ups has done, and it was something that pissed off the angels of heaven to no end. But unfortunately for heaven however, because of the closeness of the upcoming war, they couldn't do a purge of the corrupt and sinful, since after all, if they do such a thing, they might have actually started the whole war by themselves because of it. It was a situation that they can't let foster, since it would definitely make them lose a lot of potential recruits, but it was also something that they can't remove just yet, since they can't remove a large part of their combat power, despite having SEAL by themselves. Since after all, SEAL may be powerful by himself, he could still be potentially taken down by a collection of equally or more powerful individuals, especially with the twelve gods of Olympus being known across the land for being on the level of super-class entities with them continuously getting stronger by training or by acquiring faith. But with the potential war going on, and with the time it could end, such levels of power might also lower immensely as well. Very well. Let's continue seal. With that, the two then continued to worked and worked until finally. Dot. 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 The triune god of Christianity, when he first learned of this title of the god that fathered his own mother, seal has always been thinking of a question. How does the trinity work? Quote. He thought. Back in the Bible, it is said that God is a combination of three things the Father, God, the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, with three of them being connected and inseparable, and it was something that all angels of heaven knew as well, with God himself confirming of this fact alone. 
And acquiring this fact, he thought of another question when he heard of it. If they're inseparable, how come the other two of the aspect of God is dead, while the last one remain? Still intact and operational. Quote. He thought of this question repeatedly, but not saying it out loud to anyone, not wanting to make them be far too hopeful and all, but after his encounter with the creator god Brahma of Hindu mythology. Because of both Brahma and Yahweh's having the same job and role. With Yahweh just having the more significant job thanks to him being the sole god and being the father of everything in his mythology, it still stood to reason that they would have almost the same abilities and weaknesses, and after an extensive length of talking, he was able to find his own answer, and that was that the holy system is the third aspect of the triune god and said aspect could, in theory anyway, be able to manifest into the form of the one above all. And much like he thought, when he finished his work, the system glowed once more, simmering in great and brilliant golden light and then a giant golden beam of pure divinity and holy energy shot right up towards the stratosphere and escaped the world's atmosphere and right into the sun itself in mere seconds. It was a show of power and majesty that all angels in heaven and all souls of heaven, instinctively knew who this being was, who the being that was releasing this mu power and grace all at once. And all of them cried in tears of joy at this realization. Father, you have returned. Quote. Sob. Sob. Papa. We missed you. Quote. Welcome back father. Quote. Michael and the other archangels who knew of what was happening, couldn't help but looked upon the sky with tears on their eyes, feeling the presence of their beloved father once more. F.A. There, Michael couldn't help but said in complete disbelief at such phenomenon that was now currently happening in the seventh heaven, I see. You did it seal, he couldn't help but said, happy for the revival of their father. Back towards the seventh heaven, a new being now stood before the two smartest minds of heaven. The man that stood before them held a heavenly beauty that has only been seen in the appearance of both Gabriel and Seal Tempest, with the man having long beautiful platinum blonde hair and golden eyes, standing slightly over average heights, wearing clothes that perfectly hid his physique from other individuals. This man that was now standing over both the smartest individuals on heaven, is the one called by the Bible as the one and only God of the world holding the name of Elohim and in the books of the Israelites his name was YHWH, Yahweh, but in the face of the supernatural world itself and in the world of full of gods, his name was Yahweh. Yahweh seeing both of his daughter and grandson kneeling before him, he couldn't help but sighed and then kneeled down right in front of them as well. Stand up my children, you are not the ones that is meant to bow, I am, since you are the ones that have saved my life after all. You must be joking my lord. I'm the humble servant of the Lord itself, it is my duty to serve you as your proxy in the world of humans. Please Father, it is only only duty to bow to our Creator after all. Both human and angel disagreed with God's words, causing the man to sigh and then looked towards Seal and smiled, thank you for your help, if not for you, I would be stuck as being the holy system for much longer, unable to help my children. So thank you Seal. It's quite all right my Lord for it is only the duty of a grandson to help their grandfather after all. Then talk to your grandfather much like any other grandfather that lives in the human world. No, we must also keep the hierarchy as well, not to upset the humans of the church. But you're my grandson, and I am your grandfather, as you said, so it's better to showcase our love for one another to not limit ourselves in that capacity. But considering my position and yours, we can't do that for the threat of many of our combat force leaving the church if they were to notice this nepotism that is happening on heaven itself. But you're the new Jesus Christ and the one that holds the position of the the Son in the formation of my form as the triune God, so in terms of position, we are equals in that regard. And so the two fought fiercely, with Raphael only looking at them with a smile on her face. Welcome back father, she thought with a lone tear escaping her 